Hey guys, Kelly here. Welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your old 2009 27-inch iMac into a display monitor using your brand new 2020 M1 13-inch MacBook Pro. Let's get started. So before I really get started into this video, I want to go over a few quick things. If you see my old video using the old 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro to do this, I'll have a link to that one below as well. A lot of people have been asking me to do one on the new M1. There's a lot of people saying it can't happen. I have a feeling it has something to do with the model of 27 inch iMac that I have. Apparently in a very short period of time, there were several modifications made to the 27 inch. Um, I haven't done a lot of research on it. All I know is the model that I have, model number A, 1312 is the 27 inch 2009 iMac. That is the model I am using. The model of the 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro we're going to be using today, A2338. So that's A2338. All right, and that is the 13 inch MacBook Pro we're going to be working with from 2020 with the M1 chip in it. After I shot my first video, a lot of people were asking me, can this be done with the 21 inch? iMac from 2009? The answer to that is no. Not in the way I'm going to show you at least. This is strictly for the 27 inch iMac from late 2009. Okay. Um, this uses the mini display port on the back of the computer and then we have a cable, the mini display port to USB-C and I'm going to show that to you. There's also going to be links, affiliate links in the description. Um, if you want to use them, awesome. Just help support my channel. If not, no worries. Go ahead and find it wherever you'd like to buy your cable. Um, I'll also go ahead and put a link uh, to the new M1 Mac at Amazon as well in case you're interested in watching their prices for it. But let's go ahead and get started on how to connect this and how to make it work with the M1 chip. In order to make this work, you're going to need to have a mini display port cable to USB-C. So end end is going to have the USB-C adapter on it. And then the other end is going to have the mini display port adapter on it. Um, I have heard that some of the Macs in 2009 had a full size um, display port. Mine does not. Mine has the mini display port. That is the one I can confirm in this video works. Okay, please remember we're, there are a lot of different versions apparently very close together. I've had a lot of people tell me that they've got this to work with no issues. Um, it works seamlessly for me. So um, just make sure you're watching this, looking at the model numbers if you're having any issues. Another thing to note is there are some um, videos about using the command 2 option. This computer will not work with the command 2 option. I've tried. That's what made me create the first video because I knew it could be done. I just couldn't figure out how to make it happen and it was just as easy as plug and play. Um, so again, USB-C to micro uh, display port cable. Now it is important to follow these steps how I'm going to show you or it won't work. I have tried it in a couple different ways. This is the way that I have figured out how to make it work. So number one, you want to go ahead and turn on your 27 inch iMac to where it is only on the login screen. Do not log in, just let it be on the login screen. If you don't have a login screen, you need to create one. If it goes all the way into the system, it won't work. Okay, so be on the login screen. Then what you want to do, you can go ahead and power on your 13 inch MacBook Pro and just let it sit there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hook up our cable. So on the back of the computer. Okay, so now we're looking at the back of the 27 inch iMac. So on the back here, you've got several ports. The one we're looking for is going to be this port right here. This is your mini display port. So what we wanna do is we've got our mini display port cable and we're gonna hook that up into here. So this cable is gonna go in to that port just like that and it's going to be connected all right so now we're going to go connect the USB-C end into the computer so now that we have our cable connected to the back of the 27 inch iMac we're going to go ahead and put in the USB-C into the MacBook Pro this end of the cable the USB-C end is going to hook into the computer 
just like that. You can also use one of the little dongles if you're, you know, if you've got one of those ports that has the uh, SD card inserts in it, you can plug right into those as well, as long as yours has a USB-C input, it'll work. All right, so you're gonna connect it. This is real time right here. Boom, it is updated. It is the new display of the M1. So now let me show you how to operate the Windows. So I'm just gonna use the trackpad. You can use your mouse if you want to, if you've got one connected. If you're in a um, browser window and you wanna move it to your other screen, all you gotta do is move it over like this to the right of the screen. You can also set it up if you want your um, display to be on the left side. You can go in system preferences and change that really easily. But mine is set up on the right side. Browser over here. And something that apparently is new um, is last time in order to get the bar at the bottom here, we had to physically wait for it to show up after hovering. But here it's already there. And if I go back over here to my other Mac, it's there as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing, when you connect the computers, it is less of a time lag using the M1 than I had when I used it from my 2018 uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, it connects much quicker, and by much I mean maybe like five seconds. <laughs> On the other video I made, I had a couple people ask what happens if I close, want to close my laptop and work over here. Um, so you can, you can close it and then the screen will be up. So if you're just trying to like watch a video um, or YouTube or whatever, the video will play while your screen is up. Uh, on my 2018 model, um, that was not the case, but I think I probably just didn't have the settings right. Um, on the computer. So I know it's possible. Um, I do know if you dimmed that computer and if you didn't want the light to show, that worked as well. Um, but when I put it to sleep, it made this monitor go to sleep. Some people have also asked, can you use the keyboard and mouse? Um, from what I can see, no. You, you can use your you know, mouse that's gonna be connected to your um, computer. So if you had uh, an external keyboard and mouse connected, yes, you can use that on here, but physically using the ports on the 27 inch Mac, not, not possible here. Uh, it, remember, we're not even connected into the computer. We're just using it as a display. No different than if we had bought an external monitor um, and connected it up. Uh, it's just a monitor at this point. It's no longer a computer. Um, one thing I do notice is the fan in the 27 inch uh, is, a, is a little loud, um, louder than you know using one of the new uh, monitors that you can buy. So if you're like me and you're doing a lot of video editing, just like I'm making this video right now, uh, you might hear the fan in the background. So a little bit of a negative there. However, if you have an old 27 inch 2009 um, iMac that's just sitting around and you just need a monitor real quick, this is a very simple fix, cheap, um, quick. You don't have to download anything. It's literally plug and play. So that's what I love about it. And I'm really excited that it works with the M1. A lot of people have been saying it doesn't. So here's proof that it does. Again, check the model numbers. They're listed in the description. There's affiliate links in the description to buy the cable. There's a couple different ones because last time I posted a video, uh, apparently you guys bought so many of them that the company that uh, had them sold out, but the very first link is going to be the one that I personally bought, and then uh, others are just going to be substitutes in case that one happens to be sold out. I'll also put a link to the 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro 2020 model from Amazon on there as well. And in case you're curious, I'm filming this with the GoPro 9. I'll also put a link to that in the description just in case you're interested in what I was filming with. I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. Please comment with any questions. I'll do my best to answer. Um, I'm also gonna try and try this with the uh, Mac Mini M1. 
I haven't got my hands on doing that yet but I intend to do that as well um, and then also hopefully when they release the 16 inch M1 um, don't know when that'll be yet but when they do that I hope to obtain that computer too to f make another video or fill you in in the description below I hope I have helped you guys please take a moment to like the video comment and subscribe to my channel I will be uploading other Apple products and other videos as well. Thank you very much for watching. See ya!